patterns and radical mechanisms. So this is going to be free radical arrow pushing or pushing fish hook arrows. And be aware there is no rearrangement, so that's one thing where they're different from carbocations. There are six patterns, homolytic cleavage, addition to a pi bond, hydrogen abstraction, halogen abstraction, elimination, and coupling. We'll go through them one by one. Homolytic cleavage is when a weak bond splits in half, and one of the bonding electrons goes to one fragment of the molecule and the other goes to the opposite fragment of the molecule. Light or heat are needed to initiate this process. Here we have hydrogen peroxide in the presence of light symbolized by H nu. The OO bond in a peroxide is a weak bond. So the light is going to cause the cleavage of those two electrons forming the bond, each one goes to one of the oxygens. Giving us a pair of hydroxyl radicals. Note that the formal charges here are all zero. In addition to a pi bond, a radical electron couples with one of the pi electrons. That pair of electrons will form a new sigma bond. The other pi electron becomes the new radical. So here's the product you get. There's the new radical that was formed by the red curved arrow. There's the new sigma bond that was formed by the green curved arrows. Hydrogen abstraction is not the same as proton transfer because in hydrogen abstraction, a whole hydrogen atom is transferred, including its electron. You need three curved arrows for this pattern. One of the electrons from the CH sigma bond couples with the radical electron to form a new CX, or sorry, XH sigma bond. And the other electron from the CH bond becomes the new radical. There's your new radical. And here is the HX bond that was formed by the pair of electrons from the red curved arrows. In halogen abstraction, a bond to a halogen, now it doesn't necessarily have to be a halogen-halogen bond, but that's what I've drawn here with the XX bond, is going to split. One of its electrons will couple with a radical electron. That's going to form a new CX sigma bond. The other electron involved in the original bond becomes the new radical. So here's your new radical formed. There's the radical electron that came from the green arrow. And here is your CX bond, and that pair of electrons came from the red arrows. Elimination is the reverse of addition to a pi bond. When we have this radical, a new pi bond is going to be formed by that pair of curved arrows. And the other electron from the sigma bond that split up 
becomes our new radical. So there's the pi bond that was formed, indicated by the red arrows. And here is our new radical, as indicated by the green arrow. Now, if we run this reaction in reverse, we turn that pair of electrons into a new sigma bond. That electron becomes a radical, and we end up with what we had initially. So, the reverse of addition is elimination. I'm sorry. This reverse reaction that I just showed is addition, which is the reverse of elimination. Finally, coupling is the reverse of homolytic cleavage. This is where you have two radicals coming together to form a sigma bond. So, those two curved arrows forming the new sigma bond. Notice this is the only kind of mechanism where uh, radicals are destroyed. And then, of course, running it backwards, you generate the radicals. On top, it's coupling. In reverse, it is cleavage. So I've shown how homolytic cleavage and coupling are the reverse of each other, and how Elimination is the reverse of addition to a pi bond. It turns out hydrogen abstraction is the reverse of hydrogen abstraction. Take a look at this. Those are the three curved arrows of hydrogen abstraction, leading to an XH bond and a new radical. If we run that in reverse, there's the R fragment extracting, abstracting the hydrogen, and we're reforming the X radical. In this reaction, I have a radical abstracting a halogen from a halogen molecule. And this gives me a new halogen radical plus an Rx bond. That's halogen abstraction. But if I run it in reverse, That is also halogen. So just as hydrogen abstraction is the reverse of hydrogen abstraction, halogen abstraction is the reverse of itself too. We can categorize all of these patterns into three different categories. Initiation is the category where a radical is created. The only pattern that does this is homolytic cleavage. In propagation steps, you start with a free radical, and you end with a free radical. The three patterns that are propagation are addition to a pi bond, elimination, and hydrogen and halogen abstraction. Actually, that's four patterns. Termination is where the radical is destroyed, and the only example of termination is coupling. For all free radical mechanisms, they will begin with an initiation step and then there will be a series of propagation steps in a chain reaction, and the reaction will end when coupling occurs. The net reaction is the sum of the propagation steps.